me just what she thought of me, not not sticking up for her with this guest. And but I love that. I'm from New York. I love that. Like, let's deal with it yeah. and let's fucking move on. I hate this passive aggressive bullshit. Does, and that's the thing. If you respect somebody that you're having a conversation with and you're able to really communicate, yeah, and you're fair and not, you know, hitting somebody below the belt unnecessarily just to be able to get under their skin then you should be allowed to be able to share your opinions, your views, but keep it respectful. Keep it right. where you do care about the other person's opinion and viewpoint as well. And yeah. you don't have to agree all the time. I we agree. Shit. We, we're like opposites. <laughs> I mean, we don't agree at all. I don't know how we've stayed together 19 years, David. Because we don't agree because it's two different viewpoints. And I was going to say, you say you're still having sex after 20 years. So that's got to be something, right? All the time. Well, you know, you you know what Jeff says? (laughs) Paul never says no. He doesn't. (laughs) I don't ever say no. You say yes to it all. (laughs) All the time. Now, do you you say no to that? Look at this. Oh, thank you. How do I wake up next to this hot guy every single day? Versace model, gorgeous, caring, (laughs) compassionate, loving, sensitive. I mean, how do you say no to that? And he's beautiful. I, I, I mean, I lucked out. I really yeah, did. We so both did. I got to keep myself here for a little while. <laughs> David, who else would take me? I mean, think about it. Listen, who you're... else would want me? <laughs> well, neither of you are going anywhere just yet. So let's all, you know. Um, did you do something for the Emmys? Like, did I see on your Instagram or did you tell me like, is it tomorrow or yesterday? The tomorrow we're going, going to, we went to the creative Emmys a week yeah. ago and yeah. tomorrow we're going to the primetime Emmys. We're going to the primetime <laughs> Emmys. It's going to be fun. Yeah. I mean, this time I don't really have to do anything, but just go enjoy myself. Yeah. This is the first time back that I think we're going to be doing it live where we're going to be able to just go and just see our friends again, just yep. be able to talk to so many people the restrictions are very different this year yeah so they're only going to have nominees and presenters and the rest of us are just like whatever yeah but the governor's ball we get to yeah. go hang out with yeah. everyone at the governor's ball which yeah. is going to be nice and i and love it's a smaller group it's yeah. not as big as but i love to watch the show when we were there last week watching the creative emmys it's so cool it to watch there. the show it's beautifully yeah. done Anything you're looking forward to at the Emmys or like anything exciting? The Creative Art Emmys is what, you know, Kathy Griffin always called like the fake Emmys or like I know. <laughs> the B-list Emmys. But, you know, I, I support all. So I'm not saying No, that. let me tell you, it's beautiful because yeah. I, I get uh, nominations and I get submitted for costume design because I do a lot of different shows for mm-hmm. costume. And one of our friends who does hacks actually got to get on stage and win her Emmy. She won her Emmy. Ever. Yeah, Kathleen. Last yeah. Week. So that's pretty so cool. So it was like, yeah. Yeah. You want to be there and cheer them on. You want to be, be there to support. And, you know, afterwards, we're like, how do you feel? What's right. going on? Yeah. She's like, I don't know. It's a little surreal. I wasn't expecting this. And I got to so- tell you, the governor's ball had every food imaginable at a uh, food station. Yeah. It was beyond amazing. Like you just go and just go and like just grab food the entire night. Music, maybe. dancing, under yeah. the stars in LA. Yeah. Nisi Nash was there with her wife, Jessica. Oh my God, we had so much fun yeah. with her. We're dancing up a storm <laughs> on the fence yeah. floor. We love a little claws. It's such a good show. No, I, I, I like to first do my three martinis and then yes, then I want right. to dig into that food. I want like the Chinese station. I want the sushi, the, the yes. Italian, make your own pizza, the Mexican. I, I really want it all. And they had honestly. all of it. Every Everything you could think of, every kind of food, it was amazing. It, it was, it yeah. was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to see some of the creatives that you get to work with behind the scenes right. that aren't in front of the camera, right? That you'd never know that actually make everything look beautiful. Yeah. For when the lights go on and you know the talent's about to perform. Yeah. Is there a show like you would love to work on that you would love to design for? Oh, yeah. What show was I talking about the other day? I go, I should do that. Gilded show. Age. Oh, yeah. Mm. Gilded Age. And I was surprised that they didn't get any nominations or anything. And it's yeah. such an, I think it's a show that people don't really know about or don't, it's not really that. But the it's costumes, the amazing. period, the, yeah. the glamour, the, you know, the, the castles and the mansions, the real world mansions. Yeah. And see, I like like Westworld. I love like the sci-fi stuff. I think that's really, we met Anna Safarian. He's oh, going to make a really, gown for her. Yeah. She's really uh, sweet. You know, she's Armenian. Yeah. We were like, really? you're Armenian? You're yeah. Armenian? Oh my God. 
God, like there's two Armenians in the yeah. whole group. I love it. Yep. We love a little Westwood. Well, listen, speaking of gowns, uh, let's talk about you designed Sheena, Miss Sheena Marie's dress. You went to Sheena Shea's wedding. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, that was so much fun. Can I tell you that it's been a while since we went to somebody's wedding where I could just, we enjoyed ourselves yeah. so much. She had organized such a Shelby, her uh, party uh, coordinator, uh, had organized classic such a, destinations, right? Is the name of the company? Yeah, classic she does destinations yes. all over. And she does destination weddings. And she's so one cool. of her friends for many yeah. years. Yeah. She put such a beautiful <sighs> event. And I mean, the guests were entertained the whole time. I mean, considering yeah. we were all crazy. So there was, <laughs> we had our own swimming pool. We had our own cabanas. We had waiters coming with drinks all day and shoes yeah. were flying David, in the this water. This is the funniest thing. Everybody is in the pool drinking all day long, an hour before the wedding, all yeah. the coordinators come. Okay, everybody out of the pool. You the wedding's go. gonna start. And we're like, what? we don't wanna go. Wait, we gotta go change now? What? <laughs> Well, first of all, I shouldn't even call, I'm going to check myself. I shouldn't call her Sheena Shea because she's now married to someone else. But of course, she, how did you get involved in designing Sheena's dress? You've known her forever, right? Well, well we yeah, knew Sheena back before. when she was a waitress at Via Blanca and she used yeah. to wait on us. And then we were, we just became friends. And, um, and well, Lisa's, I mean, Lisa's restaurant was around the corner from my boutique. So when we used to go to lunch there, mm -hmm. it was like Shana <laughs> was really a hostess there. Yeah. And so, you know, it was, it's a very small community. So you get to really know each other and then because they know you're another business owner in the triangle, because they know that you're regular and you come and go. So we just hang out. So she walks in front of the store. So we became friends from and then we way before bumped the into season. her at so many events. Yeah. Um, we've known her since she was before season one of Vander before she was yeah. even on Vanderpump Rules, and then we've just been friends. And then um, just recently, we found out that her parents, yes, her grandparents, grandparents. were yes. really close friends with my mom and dad because they were all in the Knights of Columbus together. They were Catholic, and her family lives out near where my parents live. Um, my, they live in like Azusa area. My parents are like Walnut area in California. And after my mother died and I was sending pictures to Sheena, she sent them to her mom and her mom recognized my mother and realized they were my parents were her grandparents, really good friends. My parents were at their house all the time. They were at our parents' house all the time. They got married at the Knights of Columbus, which is where their family yes. was the entire And so our family wow. connections were so close. We didn't even know that. We discovered that when he was making the wedding gown and we're just even closer than ever before. I love Sheena and Brock. He is the perfect guy for her. Is he? Because oh, he, he gets a lot of flack from a lot of people. Yeah. You know what? True. But he's so down to earth and so nice and just chill. He's like a, a straight guy you can just go have a fucking beer with. <laughs> you got to love those straight guys you can just have a fucking well, beer with, Let me with, tell you, right? most of the wedding, every 